Greetings, Exiles. We're nearing the fourth anniversary mark since the full launch of Conan Exiles, and to celebrate the date we'll be running a double XP and harvesting event on official servers. From May 5th to May 18th 2022, all official servers on all platforms and regions, will have 2x XP and harvesting rates. Thank you for being part of Conan Exiles and for joining us in the celebrations. We can't wait to show you what's coming next for Conan Exiles. So welcome back, I wanted to make a quick video on this because, um... Uh, it's not bad news. It's not great news either. A part of me, uh, the first thing that came through my head when I saw this is I don't think they are going to plan on wiping official servers, which is something I was kind of hoping for, you know, to reset the, the playing field, you know? And with all the exploits that have been running rampant over the years, and even most recently, one of the most, one of the easiest ones you could literally do right now, um, I kind of thought with update 3.0 that maybe they would push towards wiping their official servers. But it would be kind of silly to offer an event of double XP and harvesting to then wipe the servers. That's just going to frustrate people, especially newer people to the game that maybe pick it up, especially with the sales that will most likely be going on. You know, you got we got the summer sale coming up on Steam, and I'm sure consoles and other platforms do similar sales, and they'll probably even have a sale on their game and DLC for this fourth anniversary. Um... I understand some people's gripes that this could actually... this could be... <laughs> their little event for their fourth anniversary and people that actually do enjoy the game and look forward to events that game developers do for their games. Some players have been since the beta, it is incredible that they release so little content over the years. And even more incredible, that the developers of mods, make more content than you. This anniversary event is held every weekend on private servers. Hopefully they value their community and really get to work on their game. It's a great game, unfortunately you guys are killing it. Saw the update and got excited, then saw that it is not a fix for the bomb dupe and got sad. The bomb dupe and the unholy amount of hackers is killing this game. Please start using NAC address for bans so it actually gets rid of the hacker at least until they buy a new computer. How are you going to release a game that is broken in so many ways? To dupe bombs all you have to do is place a bomb on a foundation and pick up the foundation to dupe it. This game is dead because you developers refuse to fix exploits. No one wants to play dot colon steam facepalm. It might feel a bit lackluster. Uh, to me personally, I, I don't... I don't care. I don't have anything to rant about it. I'm not one of those people that are really excited about events for games. I play a lot of Dead by Daylight and the only event I really get excited about is when they have double blood points so I can, you know, max out my characters that I'm using in the game. So personally to me, I don't care about some big grand event or, you know, I don't care if they add some fireworks or something to the game, you know, I, 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 I don't, I just don't, I don't care. That's me personally. I know uh, a lot of you would you know, maybe like some, you know, new content for the game, maybe with the anniversary, you know, maybe some little things they throw in, cosmetics, whatever, stuff like that. And that's great. You can have your gripes about that. But uh, when I speak, I speak as someone in the PvP community. So to me, this is like, hey, maybe I'll go pick up that second account and get it to level 60 to have two characters level 60 on official. And then the negative side I see to that is people that have been banned, and if you're not hardware ID banned or IP or something like that, you can just use a VPN if you were IP banned. I don't think they do that. I think they just ban your account. Well, this would be a good time to buy a second account and level it up, which is what I'm sure a lot of people will do. So the positives and the negatives here, especially people that have been playing official PvP, of course, for years, you've, you've got characters you probably got multiple characters. Uh, so the experience doesn't mean much. The harvesting's cool, I guess. It's... Okay, it's it's kind of crap. Okay, it's kind of crap. They could have done something a bit more, I guess. 
but I still think there's more to come, so I'm not going to rant or anything about this. I think I think when companies do this, it's great. Ark uh, Survival Evolved, they do little events like this all the time for uh, you know harvesting, XP, breeding, and whatnot. And I think it's a good thing. It can help bring in more people. It can help bring some you know fresh blood to the game. So I don't think it's that bad. I think it's a step in the right direction for uh, once, kind of. Sort of. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it fully. I'm a little mixed on it. I'm happy because I can go level up a character and mess around on official and maybe get some content out of it without having to work as hard. But uh, it'd be kind of cool if they did an event like this once a month. I think it would definitely help because I don't like feeling bound to one particular game. I'm a gamer. I like to play multiple games as I'm sure many of you do. And sometimes if, you know, you're just playing Conan solo or with a, another person, maybe a couple people, it's still a bit of a grind and it can take up a lot of your life. And then if you're playing on PvP, you got to worry about people raiding you if you can't make it on during raid hour. And you lose all your hard work and you weren't even there. And then with all the exploits that have been going on for quite some time, you know, there's a lot of things that still need to be addressed. But maybe... Just maybe they're actually going in that direction. And uh, and maybe we'll get something more out of this game we have all enjoyed at some point in time, if not still. And uh, maybe we'll see it turn into something great. But I guess we just have to give it time, you know? I mean, it's only been since 2017, but we'll hang in there. You know we will. I will anyways. I'll hang in there for you. Well, like always, I appreciate you guys listening to me ramble. If you're not subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. And always remember to give the video a thumbs up if you found it informative, interesting, funny, whatever the case may be for the context of the video. I appreciate your time. It means a lot to me that you take time out of your day to watch my content, listen to me rant, ramble, just talk, whatever it is. It means a lot. And just remember that. The beekeeping isn't very realistic. You can't just put down a beehive and expect honey. You don't crush up bees and get honey. This would be a great game if they put a little more effort into hive management and bee behavior to make it more realistic.